Hi, and welcome to the What's New in Aviva Plant SCADA 2023 release. My name is Nathan Slider, Aviva Product Manager for Plant SCADA. Plant SCADA 2023 continues to enhance the user interface and user experience for this release. Here we can see how the Plant SCADA Studio applies the Aviva design system standards for the user interface, which not only aligns towards a common look and feel across Aviva's operations control software, but this also helps make a very intuitive user experience when configuring the application and allows users to navigate quickly to the location of interest within their project design process. The OPC UA server and industrial graphics rendering engine, which is used for the HTML5 Plant SCADA web client, both of which were introduced in the previous release as read-only, now supports tag write functionality. Tag writes enabled for both the OPC UA server and the web clients are controlled by the new read-write user security permissions, which provide tag-level security access to perform control commands. If we look at the roles defined within the project, these are tied to the Windows group, where we've identified a user named Bill, who is part of the process engineer's role. We'll then provide write access security to a variable tag configured as a set point for the process engineer role. In runtime, if we log into the plant SCADA web client as our user named Bill, who is part of the process engineer's role, and we'll see that Bill now has access to modify the set point commands, and when we look back at the server, we'll notice that the value of 500 is now successfully written to the runtime application. Alarm filtering performance improvements is a new feature update to the filtering operations of the sequence of events in alarm summary pages. This significantly helps improve the performance of an alarm query where you may be looking to collect all of the alarm records for a single piece of equipment, especially when the system contains a very large volume of alarm history which is typically captured and displayed on the sequence of events in alarm summary pages. Equipment changes and improvements help customers build more descriptive applications. Equipment definitions help to create logical groupings that allow you to organize your projects using a hierarchical design. Prior to this release, custom parameters were used to apply specific values to an equipment type. However, there was a limitation of 256 characters. In Plant SCADA 2023, custom parameters were replaced with this configuration of parameters. These parameters support the same functionality, but they are stored in a dedicated configuration parameters database that removes this 256 character limitation. A migration tool is also included as part of this improvement, which allows customers to use this new feature while easily migrating existing engineering efforts. Plant SCADA 2023 also allows you to incorporate web-based content in your runtime system with the new web browser control. This is achieved by placing the web content control from the Plant SCADA Studio toolbar directly into a standard graphic page using the Graphics Builder. Each instance of the web content control has a dynamic URL property that allows you to specify the content that is displayed at runtime. The new web browser control allows customers to build graphics with the new industrial graphics editor and then embed these same graphics into the standard graphics rendering engine. It also allows customers to embed the Aviva Historian Client web application or any HTML5 web page deemed to display with the full interactivity. The Aviva Identity Manager provides access for the Plant SCADA web client using industrial graphics. Single sign on will be incorporated into a future release, but once logged in, we can see how we can incorporate the newly built graphics running within an HTML5 frame from the standard graphics client runtime process. Viva Enterprise Licensing, or AEL, is now fully integrated for use with Plant SCADA 2023. AEL is a common platform solution that allows you to manage Aviva Enterprise software product licenses. The AEL system is comprised of a browser-based license manager and a license server that allows you to share and deliver licenses to installed Aviva applications. This distributed architecture enables centralized management of activated licenses and flexible topologies that support systems of any size. This is also a tr transitional step away from the legacy Shire Electric software licenses, which have now been deprecated in the product. From the Plant SCADA Studio, we can navigate to our licensing icon and select between the new software licenses and legacy hardware or USB type licenses. We can then begin the configuration process to centrally manage the Aviva Enterprise licenses in a centralized location through this activation process. Plant SCADA 2023 continues to enhance and harden the underlying framework for cybersecurity enrichment 
as well as our customers to build or upgrade their applications with the latest operating systems from Microsoft, including support for Windows 11 and Server 2022 in this release. Thank you.